Hi, my dear student. How are you over there? I hope you are fine. Okay, today I would like to teach you how to use calculator to learn statistics. Okay, calculator is a very important tool in mathematics. First, it can help you to avoid careless mistake. And second, calculator actually can teach us many things. Okay, today I will use a calculator to teach you what it means by frequency, cumulative frequency, and how you obtain mean and standard deviation and also variance from your calculator. So before we start using formula, I will use a calculator to teach you the concept of the variance and standard deviation and also cumulative frequency. Okay, variance is a set of ungrouped data can be obtained using the formula and the formula looks very very complicated. So we have two formula. So I will explain the formula and how to use a formula in the next lesson. Okay, so today I will just uh, teach you how to use calculator to learn what it means by variance so that you have a clearer picture how to obtain variance and mean and standard deviation from your calculator. So I have prepared a table for you. Okay. Uh, today we are not going to use a formula. Okay. For the next lesson, we will use a formula. So I prepared a table for you. The X is the data. Okay. The F is the frequency. And the FX is the frequency times the data. And the X square and the FX square. So this is actually a frequency table. So uh, we will do this next lesson, but today we will use a calculator to double check the answer. Okay, we normally will use a calculator to find the ans answer and then we will work for the answer so that we will get perfect answer. So you must know the skills to obtain the answer from the calculator first. Of course, in exam, you are not allowed to use calculator, but I am teaching you how to avoid careless mistakes using calculator. So if, let's say, this question you want to do using formula, before you use a formula, I advise you to use a calculator to find the answer first, so that later on, you can double check your answer, okay? So I will show you the step-by-step -step how to use this kind of calculator. We have three types of calculator. FX570MS is the traditional calculator. Okay, I will show you all the three types for the next two lessons. Another another model. Okay. So today we'll use a, the first type, which is FX570MX. We will use this calculator to find the variance and standard deviation. Of course, we have to find the mean first. Because variance and standard deviation, all you have to use a mean. Okay, there are steps to follow. Step 1, you press the mode key two times and you will see the calculator display SD, REG and BASE. So, you have 1, 2 and 3. Of course, you have to choose a number. So, you want SD, so you choose 1. Okay. Okay, press 1 to select SD. Okay, by referring to the frequency table given by me, okay, so you have to key in the zero three times. Frequency is three, so you key in zero three times. How you key in three times? You press zero, then you press M plus three times. Followed by, you press one, okay, you follow by M plus five times. You will see your calculator will appear N equal to eight. Cumulative frequency, okay. Then after that, you press two. Two, you have to follow by M plus 8 times because the frequency of the 2 is 8. And so, you have to key in until your cumulative frequency is 
3 plus 5 plus 8, so 16. Okay? Alright, now you follow by, after you got 16, n equal to 16, you press 3. After you press 3, you have to follow by n plus 2 times. Okay? So, just now you got 16, cumulative frequency. So, 16 plus 2 is 18. So, your cumulative frequency is 18 now. Okay? After you got 18, you press 4. After you press 4, you press n plus for 2 times. So then the calculator will display n equal to 20. It shows that total frequency is 20. Okay, sum of the frequency is 20. Yeah. Okay, now you need to press 2. Once you press 2, the calculator will display x with a line on top that is mean. Mean is average. Yeah? Okay, so you can also uh, get standard deviation which is x sigma so if you press shift 2 you choose 1 equal you get mean which is 1.75 okay let's say you want standard deviation you go and press shift 2 again shift 2 again okay then you choose 2 okay you will get standard deviation so if you want to get variance variance is standard deviation square so you just square your answer just now you'll get variance Alright, so if you want to have a standard deviation, you will just square root your variance. Okay, understand? So if you are not sure how to do, I will show you the video how to press your calculator to obtain mean, standard deviation and also variance using calculator MS570 MS. Okay, this is the cal calculator. I think steering, still holding by many students. Uh. You still can use it. It's quite a, a, a good calculator. So, most important is you get used to the, your own calculator. So, I wish you good luck. Enjoy doing max and add max. So, enjoy the video for the next lesson. Bye. See you. Okay, today I want to use a calculator to teach statistics. I want to teach you what is mean, what is standard deviation, what is variance. So first of all, on your calculator, okay, press button on. Then you go to mode twice, two times. Okay, then calculator will display SD, REG and base. So we will choose SD. Okay, after you choose SD, you press 1 uh, because we want SD is number 1. So after you press 1, you need to enter the data in the table that I gave to you into the calculator. So we start with 0. Okay, press 0 now. Okay, 0 frequency is 3, so you have to press M plus 3 times. Okay, M plus means a uh, frequency. M plus one time, two time, and three time. Okay, so uh, you will see N equal to three. Okay, after you press M plus for three times. Okay, good. That is three times a year. Okay, now followed by you have to press one. Okay, according to frequency table. Your 1 is 5. Frequency is 5. So, you go to 1. You press a 1. Followed by, you press M+. plus. For how many times? You have to press M+, plus for 5 times. So, you press M+, plus, okay, for 5 times. So, you will see the cumulative frequency now should be 8. So the calculator is accumulate the frequency. Okay, so 3 plus 5 become 8. Okay, so you have to key in M plus until you see N equal to 8. Then you will stop. Okay, now it's 6. Okay, we still got 2 more times. Ok, 
Okay, N7 Then N equal to 8 Okay, enough Stop huh? Now follow by You have to press 2 Okay, the frequency for 2 is 8 huh? So, that means you have to key in 8 times of 2 into your calculator So now you go to the uh, button 2 you select 2 okay you press 2 then you M plus until you see 16 because just now you got 8 right so 8 plus 8 should be 16 okay so now you have to press your M plus until you see 16 so you have to do it carefully so by using calculator you also can learn statistics so calculator is for you to check the answer to avoid careless mistake so you must be good to double check your careless mistake so because everyone is careless so 13 14 15 16 17 and uh, 16 stop uh. don't continue uh. so you stop there okay because 8 plus 8 is 16 don't over okay over than 16 now you choose you choose 3 you have to key in 3 from the calculator you select 3 Okay, after you select 3, you press M plus for how many times? 2 times because the frequency is 2. So you M plus, you will see 17. One more time, you will see 18. Okay? Now, finish it or not, heaven, you still got one more, 4. So you press 4. Okay, press 4. Okay, you select 4. Then you key in M plus two times because the frequency is two. Okay, now your total frequency is summation of F uh, is equal to 20. Okay, that's called total frequency, understand or not, from the table. Okay, so after you got the total frequency equal to 20, now you want to use a calculator to find the mean and the standard deviation okay so you will press the button which is very important please remember you go to shift okay shift you press shift you'll see a small s there on top of the screen then choose two shift two shift two after shift two after shift 2, you will okay, shift 2 uh, you will see the screen display uh, mean x with a line on top and the standard deviation so you press mean number 1 you get 1.75 so if you want standard deviation you shift 2 again now you choose 2 okay we just want uh, okay to check the standard deviation is 1.13468 right okay the answer is correct eh? okay if you want variance variance is just you take the standard deviation you square it so it's 1.2875 that's how you use a calculator to get the answer okay let's do it again on your calculator press mode two times sd you choose one then after you choose one okay you will have to key in the data into the calculator so according to the table i gave to you zero got two so you could key in zero m plus m plus m plus three times then after that you key in one you press m plus five times so your frequency just now three now is five so three plus five cumulative frequency now is eight say so you see until eight you stop then continue with number two you key in 8 times so you should do until 16 cumulative frequency is 16 okay now you key in 3 twice okay that's how you learn cumulative frequency 
16 plus 2 is 18 okay after you key in then you key in 4 you key in 2 times so the total frequency is 20 okay it's called sum of the frequency then you go to shift 2 because you want to read mean right mean using calculator to check your mean shift 2 then you press equal okay okay you choose one first because one is mean one is mean equal 1.75 is a mean then if you want standard deviation you go to shift 2 again go to shift 2 again so you get uh, 1 2 3 right you choose 2 2 is standard deviation so 2 is standard deviation you put 2 uh, then you put equal don't forget to press equal then if you press square uh, the then you put equal don't forget to press equal then if you press square the standard deviation you will get variance 1.2875 is a variance okay understand